Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it so very much. Um, today I have my Ipsy Plus Glam Make Plus that I want to unbox as well as my regular Ipsy. Um, I did cancel BoxyCharm. Um, I, I've been keeping really close eyes on spoilers so a lot of the times I'm not completely surprised like I know there's variations and stuff. But um, lately, just like my money, I've been more conscious of it. So I want to make sure that I'm getting my money's worth from things. And really, subscription boxes, some of them have been really disappointing. So um, I canceled Glossy Box back in September, so it's been quite a while. December was my last Sephora play. Um, sometimes I feel a little twinge, and then I look at the spoilers, and I'm like, nope, glad I canceled that one. Um, BoxyCharm, April's BoxyCharm was just like, I looked at everything and I think, and I said, I might use the brushes if they're full size, like if they're the travel size, I never reach for my travel size brushes. And I looked at it, I was like that eyeshadow palette, I'm not going to use that. Um, it will sit there. I'll try it once or twice. I won't use the super glitters and everything. And I can't remember what else is in it, but I was like, the brushes are literally the only thing that I would use from this box. So I decided to cancel it. Um, I do have like $60 in points. So I'm hoping that they're going to have a good box so that I can resubscribe and get my um, products from the charm shop. But yeah, I was just super disappointed. So I have canceled that. Um, there might be more coming up to <laughs> be unsubscribed too. So you never just, you just never know. I am so excited about these. It took me a while to get them because, um, I film on the weekends, as you probably know, I talked about it before and I was out of town last weekend, so I couldn't film. And the weekend before I was hoping my Ipsy Glam Big Plus, it was supposed to come in and it, they changed it. It was like, it's supposed to be delivered. I was like, yes. And then the night before they're like, oh, it's going to be another week. I was like, no. And then it came like on a Monday after my weekend and I was like, okay. So I've been sitting on my Glam Bag Plus for almost two weeks and this one came a couple days or a few days before that. So yeah, I went ahead um, and looked at everything because I like to do that and make sure that things are not broken and because it's best to contact them immediately. And since I knew it was going to be a while, I just did. So my regular glam bag, um, I sh I'm getting ahead of myself. So it's cute. I like the little lemon. This is not my favorite style of bag. I like the top zip one instead of the front. Um, but I do think the lemons are super cute. I wish they would have done like a variety of fruits. So I think that would have been super cute. The first thing in here is from Billion Dollar Brushes. It is a fan brush. I have never heard of this brand. Um, and it seems like it's not nearly as thin as like the Wet n Wild fan brush. So it has a little heft to it. So I feel like this will be a good brush to use. Um, I never keep these plastic sleeves. I know I probably should and that they're probably good for it and everything, but I just am trying to get rid of what clutter I can. Next up, oh my goodness, this is a nail polish. I almost called it a perfume. It is 100% vegan friendly and toxin free, Law Beauty Essentials, and it's purplicious. Um, and it is a bright, bright purple nail polish. That will be a good summer color. I don't have anything like this at all, so, but it looks like it has a crack. I hope that's just like a scratch in the glass. Um, so yeah, that's that's an interesting, I haven't gotten in a nail polish in quite a while, I feel like. Then we have from Tarte, I don't know which is front, um, it's the Double Duty Beauty Base Tape Hydrating Primer. Ooh, I don't know if I need a hydrating primer right now. Um, I've talked about how my skin's been freaking out lately. This, um, I wish they would put prices, like there's no prices on it, so the things still pretty worthless to me. Um, yeah, I, I've been really doing the like silicone primers that that's what's really been working on my skin lately. Um, 
so yeah, we'll, I'll try it out eventually, but probably not for a while because my skin, I finally have gotten it figured out like a set thing so it's not looking crazy. All right, from Tony Moly, this is the Peach Punch Sweet Foam Cleanser. I love Tony Moly. See if I can get a little out without getting it everywhere. Oh, it's like a cream cleanser. I was expecting it to be like a gel. It does have a peach scent to it. I'm not sure I'm gonna like that though. I'm not usually a big fan of those more creamy cleansers. And then the last thing in here is from The Balm. It's called The Balm Jour Creamy Lip Stain in the shade Kanichiwa. And um, it's kind of a, uh, I don't know how to describe this. It's kind of like a nudie, pinky brown, um, light color. We'll see what that looks like on the lips. Um, definitely different than anything I own. It's a little more patchy, but I think that's because it says it's a stain. Um, yeah, it's a creamy lip stain. So I'm not the biggest fan of lip stains. So that's that one I'm kind of on the fence about, kind of on the fence about the hydrating primer. I mean, I have that I'm oily, so I don't know why they would send me a hydrating primer. Um, this one I'm kind of excited to try because it's just different. I will always take brushes and I won't complain. And then um, this is interesting. It's, a, it's a, it, nope, it doesn't match my shirt. I was gonna say it matches my Fallout Boy shirt. Doesn't really. Um, yes, I am wearing my Fallout Boy shirt today. This is, um, I don't know if you can see it. It says FOB on it. Um, it kind of looks like, it reminds me of Taco Bell. <laughs> it's reminded other people of Taco Bell as well. So I think it was a solid Ipsy bag. Not my favorite, um, not my least favorite Ipsy bag though either. Glam Bag Plus is next. And I know I have a couple add-ons in here because, um, they had a couple of the $3 ones that I was interested in and they're on the side. So they were easy to spot. That's good. This first one is the 111 skin, which it says Harley street, London. It is a Y Ethereum repair serum NAC Y2. That makes no sense to me whatsoever. But um, I do love serums, and this was like a super, super expensive serum. So I thought, why not? I'll add it on. And then this one, I couldn't find anything out about, but it sounded good. It is a Perlis Watermelon Energizing Two Minute Polishing Peel. Um, it did not have all of those words when I was looking it up. Um, it was like really hard to figure out what it is. So now I'm thinking it's like one of those um, ones that you, apply oh no you put it on for two minutes and then let it sit okay and then you rinse it's not overly watermelon scented i am not gonna lie like i was hoping it was gonna smell like watermelon um that was really the reason why i wanted it i was hoping that it would smell like watermelon alas and alack it does not all right getting into the box this is what it actually looks like without all of those things in it We'll pull out this one on the top. This is the Feel Beauty Balance Moisture Balancing Cream. Moisturizes deeply for 24 hours. Um, it says that this works on your face and body and it retails for $28. I mean, this will take me forever if I use it as a face cream, but, and it's sealed, so I'm gonna leave it sealed because I have two, I have so many, I need to do like, a, quick film of all of my body care that I have sitting around. Um, I have lots of skincare too. So yeah, I mean, it's, it's a solid thing. Not gonna hate on it, but probably not gonna get to it for at least a year. I'm not gonna lie. Um, that's why I'm glad it's sealed. Next in here is from Paris Hilton. Um, <laughs> Pro DNA Advanced Skincare System Dual Action Cleansing Gel. I just think it's funny. I know um, her, not, I didn't know she did skincare, but I know that her makeup line, like there's like a cult following and people really search for her. And it does, oh, look at this. It has all of its little, you know, guidelines and everything. 
like a real fancy one does. Um, so I don't know anything about her skincare, but I know that people really love her makeup and they like search it out. This retails for $29, which is a lot because I could get the Maraud cleanser for the same price and it's going to be a larger thing. This is four ounces. I think that one's seven ounces, I want to say. So, um, it seems a little overpriced for a cleanser, but I'm not going to hate on it because cleansers are always useful and they don't go, they're not going to go bad nearly as fast as like some, some other products. All right, next in here is from It Cosmetics. It is the Heavenly Skin Skin Smoothing Complexion Brush. And it retails for $48 because these brushes are so expensive, like ridiculously expensive, but they're so good. Um, this is not a brush that I normally use. It looks kind of like a um, tapered kabuki. Um, it, they're super soft, like, oh my gosh, I love feels so good um this makes the box worth it for me this $25 because I buy these brushes at Ulta whenever they go on sale for their half price so yeah um it says okay do, not only does this make this brush give makeup products an airbrush finish blurring away the appearance of fine lines and pores it also applies skincare like a dream I would not use this for skincare because skincare is so expensive and it would take extra product um, but yeah, I still think it's nice and I'm excited to have gotten it. All right. Next up in here is from Lovecraft Beauty. It is a blush palette. It has three shades in it. Althea, Del Delphine, and Oscalia. Oscalia. I have no idea. Those are not words that I normally, um, Del Delphine, like, like I've heard of that. Um, that's in literature, but it looks like, is that a crack? Yeah, it looks like I have a little crack or something in it. Um, let's swatch these. I gotta open it, so give me, okay, that took a little bit, but um, I finally got it. That's an interesting angle. Um, I'm trying not to blind people. But there are the three shades. We'll swatch all of them. Um, they feel okay. The, this one felt like the smoothest of the three. Um, they're not overly pigmented, which is fine for a blush. Like, I don't necessarily want something super um, pigmented when I put it on my cheeks. But yeah, they're pretty good. Um, interesting. I don't agree with the price point on this. It does say it retails for $39 which seems like a lot for a brand that I don't know a whole lot about. I've never heard of them. Um, and for three blushes, like Tarte has um, blush palettes for less than that. So yeah. Um, also, I want to point out that lip stain did not stain at all because I just wiped off those swatches and it's gone. All right, last thing in here is this little guy. It is the Moods Palette by Lauren Sanchez. Um, I don't know who that person is, um, but she now has a company. And this is what the palette looks like. Some pretty colors. And it's actually cool. I'm trying not to blind you with the light. It looks like this, except this is the bottom part. I wish they would have reversed it because usually when you open it it's going to look like this so then it's going to be upside down not that most people are probably looking um i will say there it does seem to be quite a bit of fallout from this brown shade like there's a whole bunch of dust going on in there but we're going to swatch them we'll that was a little rough not going to lie um we're doing the four mattes first super pigmented on the brown um the other ones are kind of a mixed bag like they're there but they're not the most um pigmented of shades so we'll let those go um there is a little brush in here as well there's like a oh not a not a good brush um that that will probably be passed along um, and then we'll do these four shades. This is a really weird 
color story to me. Like, I don't really see how they all mix together. Like, I, I can see some of the colors going well, but other ones not so much. Um, we'll swatch them next to them. Oh, that purple is so... Um, that was weird. Like, it looked like it was really flaky, but it didn't blow off when I blew my hand. Um, so they actually look a little bit more vibrant on camera, not gonna lie. Um, they're a little bit more subdued here um, in person, but th they look pretty, um, I, like I said, like coming up with a color story that's gonna be where, um, where I would have a problem. And this retails for $35, by the way, just wanna throw that out there. And then let's do our last two, which are highlighters. So we'll just take the two highlighters and we'll go across the top. My finger was a little wet, so it did go a little chunky because um, got a little too excited. This one is a really cool um, like holographic one. It does change. This one is a pretty color too. Um, so yeah, actually the highlights, the highlights would be the highlight of the palette for me. Um, but yeah, it, interesting box. Um, the palette, I mean, I'm always glad to get palettes. I, I'm such an eyeshadow junkie. I love palettes and I just like looking at them sometimes. So I do think this is pretty. Um, I do like this. The brush, I am so excited about the Zit Cosmetics brush. Like. I will always be excited about brushes. This, I'm not really sure. I mean, they're very, they're safe colors, I guess. So they're just, they, they're a little blah, a little blah for me, but it's okay. Um, Paris Hilton, I don't know what to think about Paris Hilton. Um, these are okay. I, th I feel like it's a solid box. Like um, for $25, getting each of these for $5, do I think that's worth it? Yeah, I think that was a good deal. Um, would I pay the full price for any of these? Oh, hell no. Um, no, I wouldn't. So yeah, let me know if you got the same things in your boxes. Um, if you got these, if you're tempted to upgrade or not, if you've seen spoilers, let me know what your thoughts are. If you think that it's going to be good continuing. Um, if you know of spoilers for BoxyCharm, like, let me know about those because, um, I mean, I do try to follow the spoilers for BoxyCharm because I want—I I don't want to miss Lux if it's really good by not being subscribed in May, but I also don't want to just get May so that I can get a good box in June. So let me know. Um, I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Please let me know how you're doing, what you are up to, how your life is going. Do you have anything exciting or, you know, if, if something's not great going on let me know too um so i can keep you in my thoughts i hope you are all having a fantastic day and i'll talk to you next time <laughs> bye